tax rates to be used. We need to measure our tax rate that will be expected to apply to the period when the asset is realized or the liability is settled based on our tax rates, tax laws that have been legislated or substantively legislated by the end of our reporting period. Now, let's just recap this again. Then you don't have to look at this in future. Remember, we have the beginning of our year. Therefore, let's say that this is our year end for 2021. And this is our year end for 2022. Right. Therefore, our opening balance will be on 1 March. Our year end is February. Now, basic example here. Okay. Now, they indicate to us, for example, currently our tax rate, let's say that this is 29%. But now the tax rate will increase to 30%. Basic example, guys. Read the scenario to get these rates. Now, for this period, our current tax will be based on our profit and loss. Remember, your current tax, based profit and loss. Therefore, this is for a period. We use our 29%. But our deferred tax will be based on our statement of financial position. And this is at year end. Therefore, we need to ensure that our balance, sorry, will be based on our 30%. The new rate at year end. Now, I've included a summary here at the bottom. If there is a tax rate change, remember, you will have to include this in your Income tax expense note, your tax rate recon, your DFA tax calculation. Look at this, not your DFA tax note. You use your temporary difference of your DFA tax calculation times your new rate. Remember, in your DFA tax note.